how do we solve quadratic equations? First of all, in two of our earlier tutorials, we learned how to expand and factorize quadratic expressions. These two important concepts forms the prerequisite knowledge to our lesson. Are you interested in learning the two prerequisites? If yes, then click a link in the description below and familiarize yourself with the two. Introduction A quadratic equation takes the form ax squared plus bx plus c equals to zero where a, b, and c are constants or known numbers. A is referred to as the coefficient of x squared, b is the coefficient of x, and a cannot be zero because if a is zero, then it means the, the square part of the equation will be eliminated and the equation is no longer quadratic. Our discussion will then be based on examples. Our first question is solve the following quadratic equations. First, x squared plus 2x equals to 0. So, as usual, to factorize, we seek for the common factor on the left hand side, and for that matter, the common factor is x. So we write x, then open the brackets, then what can we multiply by x to give us x squared? It is x and we put it inside the brackets. Then the term that we multiply by x to give us positive 2x, this is positive 2, write it inside, then close the brackets, equals to 0. Whenever we have two terms being multiplied and the result is zero, then it means automatically that one of the two factors or both must be zero. So in this case, we have x equals to zero or x plus two being equal to zero. So we can write x equals to zero as our final answer. Then we proceed to x plus 2 equals to 0. We open the brackets. So we write x plus 2 equals to 0 without the brackets. If we subtract 2 on both sides, then we will have x equals to negative 2. We can therefore clearly see that x is either equal to 0 or negative 2. So our answer is x equals to 0 or negative 2. Part B. 4x squared plus 12x equals to 0. So we factorize. Look for the common term on the left hand side. The common term is 4x. So we write 4x, then open brackets. Then inside the brackets we have x, then plus 3. Then we close our brackets, equals to 0. As usual, either 4x equals to 0 or x plus 3 equals to 0. So 4x equals to 0 implies that we need to divide on both sides by 4. So if we divide both sides by 4, x remains to be 0. Then we proceed to x plus 3 equals to 0. Open the brackets. So we write x plus 3 equals to 0. Then to remain with x on the left hand side of the equal sign, we have to subtract 3 on both sides. So x equals to negative 3. Clearly, x is equal to 0 or negative 3, which we term as our answer. 
our second example solve the following quadratic equations equation a x squared plus 7x plus 10 equals to 0 solution we look for two terms whose product is ac and sum is b for that matter our ac is 10 and b is 7 so we are looking for two numbers which when multiplied gives us 10 and when added gives us 7. The numbers are 2 and 5. So in our equation we substitute for 7x with 2x plus 5x. Then we now complete our equation by writing x squared plus 10 equals to 0. Now we need to take the first pair, which is x squared plus 2x, and look for the common term. The common term here is x. So we write x and open brackets. Inside the brackets, we ask ourselves, what can we multiply by x? to give us x squared plus 2x. For that matter, it is x plus 2. Then we close our brackets. Then we move to the next pair, that is 5x plus 10. The common term here is positive 5. Then open brackets. We will have inside the brackets x plus then we close our brackets equal to 0. We can now combine the terms outside the brackets, that is x and positive 5 together and then close it inside the brackets. Then we can see that x plus 2 is common, so we can enclose this in a bracket once and multiply by x plus 5 and the result is 0. As we have just said, whenever two terms have been multiplied and the result is 0, then it has an implication that either one of the terms or both is 0. So we can write x plus 5 equals to 0 or x plus 2 equals to 0. Then now, to solve for x, we have to subtract 5 on both sides of the first equation. And this gives us x equals to 0 minus 5. To solve for x on the other equation, we need to subtract 2 on both sides. And this gives us x equals to 0 minus 2. Therefore, x equals to either negative 5 or negative 2. And this is now our answer. Question B. 2x squared plus 5x minus 12 equals to 0. As we said earlier, we look for two terms whose product is negative 24 and sum is positive 5. What are these numbers? Pause the video and try to look for the numbers. Well, do you have 8 and negative 3? Those are the two terms. So, we substitute for positive 5x with positive 8x minus 3x. Then we complete our equation by writing 2x squared, then minus 12, and equal to 0. Taking the first pair, we look for the common term, which is 2x, then write brackets. What can we multiply by 2x to give us 2x squared? It is supposed to be x. Then what can we multiply with 2x to give us 8x? 
30 is supposed to be positive 4. Close our brackets. Take the next pair, which is negative 3x minus 12. The common term here is negative 3. Inside the brackets, we are supposed to have x plus 4. Then we close our brackets and write equal to 0. We can now combine the two terms outside the brackets. That is 2x minus 3 to form one bracket. And then the next, which are the same, can be enclosed in a bracket once. Then equal to 0. Since we said whenever a product is 0, it means either of the numbers or both of them is equal to 0, then we can write 2x minus 3 equals to 0 or x plus 4 equals to 0. Then to get the value of x, we now need to add 3 on both sides and this simplifies to 2x equals to 0 plus 3. On the other equation, we can subtract 4 both sides so that we have x equals to 0 minus 4. 2x equals to 0 plus 3 simplifies to 2x equals to 3 and x equals to 0 minus 4 gives us x equals to negative 4. Then if we divide both sides by 2, we have x equals to 1.5. So x is either 1.5 or negative 4. Question C of 2. x squared minus 10x plus 25 equals to 0. Solution. We're looking for two terms which when multiplied gives us 25 and when added gives us negative 10. What are these two numbers? These two numbers are negative 5 and negative 5. So we substitute for negative 10x with negative 5x minus 5x. Then we complete our equation by writing x squared plus 25 equals to 0. Let's now take the first pair. The common term here is x, then into, within the brackets, we have x minus 5, then we close our brackets. In the next pair, we have the common term being negative 5. Then what can we multiply by negative 5 to give us negative 5x? That is supposed to be x. Then, what can we multiply by negative 5 to give us positive 25? That is supposed to be negative 5. We close our brackets and say that this is equal to 0. The terms outside the brackets can be combined and enclosed in a bracket. And that is x minus 5. Then, the terms inside the brackets can be written once, that is x minus 5, then remember equal to 0. Now when you look at this properly, the left hand side looks like a term multiplied by itself. And that is supposed to be the term squared, so we can write x minus 5, everything squared equals to 0. So, x minus 5 squared being equal to 0, it means for us to eliminate the square, we need to take the square root on both sides. So then, we have the square root eliminating the square, and then we have x minus 5 and then the square root of 0 on the right hand side is also 0.
So then we have x minus 5 equals to 0. If we add 5 on both sides, we will have x equals to positive 5. So that is our answer then. Question 3. Solve the quadratic equation x squared minus 9 equals to 0. Solution. This is a difference of two squares on the left hand side. So, let's have our first method. We seek for the square root of each of the terms and that is the square root of x squared which is x and the square root of 9 which is 3. Then we write x minus 3 then we multiply by x plus 3. Now we change the sign which now we call the conjugate. We said a conjugate is the number, the two numbers multiplied, but the sign in between them reversed. So that if it is negative, we reverse it to positive. If it was positive, we change it to negative. So let's remember to say equals to zero. Then x minus three either equals to zero or x plus three equals to zero. Then we add three on the left hand side on both sides so that we have x equals to positive 3. On the other equation that is x plus 3 equals to 0 we subtract 3 both sides so that we have x equals to negative 3. So our answer is x equals to 3 or negative 3. Let's have our second method. x squared minus 9 equals to 0. So we can simply straight away add 9 on both sides so that we are left with x squared equals to 9. Then we can now take square root on both sides. Square root of x squared is x and the square root of 9 is either positive 3 or negative 3 which can be written as positive or negative 3 and that's our answer. So if you compare the two answers they are simply the same. Now you can try out a few questions. Solve the following quadratic equations. 1. x squared plus 13x plus 42 equals to 0. 2. x squared minus 5x plus 4 equals to 0. 3. x squared minus 49 equals to 0. 4. 4x squared plus 16x equals to 0. 5. x squared minus x equals to 6. for watching see you soon